Hey guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC and welcome to our product spotlight for the Badlands Jacket from Klein. All right guys, so this is the Badlands Jacket from Climb. Now we know Climb has a reputation for making some of the most durable and most technical gear that is available today. And there is no exception when it comes to the Badlands Jacket. Now I've got Trey here today. Trey's six feet tall, he's 170 pounds. He has a 38 inch chest. He's wearing a size medium in this jacket. So briefly, let's talk about fit. This jacket's gonna have an American cut to it. So which means Trey's gonna have plenty of room in the chest, plenty of room in the torso, and plenty of length around the hips. Now with this jacket, I do want to point out this is a shell only. It is going to be waterproof, but you need to rock your own base layers if you're going to have this jacket on. Just keep that in mind. Now when we talk about construction with this jacket, first thing we're going to point out is you are going to get Gore-Tex Pro. And what that is, it's the Gore-Tex liner that's baked and laminated to the inside of this shell. So it's guaranteed to keep you dry, it's guaranteed for life, but it's also going to allow sweat and heat to evaporate through this jacket. So you're getting the best of both worlds. And when it comes to anything waterproof, you're not going to find anything better than Gore-Tex. Now when we go into the construction of the jacket, remember you're going to get three, a mixture of three different materials with this jacket. You're going to get 840 D Cordura throughout the entire jacket. You're also going to get Armacore. Now Armacore is a mixture, it's Aramid infused with Cordura and you're going to have that a mix with rip stop stitching here in the chest and the abdomen. You're also going to get that on the back as well and it's very abrasion resistant. And thirdly, you're getting super fabric. Now super fabric, if I have Trey turn just a little bit, you're going to get that super fabric on the shoulders and the elbows. What it is, it's welded ceramic plates over top that armor core and really that super fabric when it comes to abrasion resistance, this is the highest degree that you're going to get. They're saying it's 10 to 14 times more abrasion resistant than your standard uh, Cordura fabrics that you're going to see on other jackets and that's what you're getting up here on the shoulder and the elbow with this jacket. All right, so when it comes to impact protection, this jacket is going to have the highest degree of protection that there is. So you are going to have here in the shoulders and the elbows, you're going to have D3O-T5 EVO XT molecular armor. I know it's a mouthful, but I brought a piece to show you what it looks like. So this is it right here. It's very flexible, it's thin, but it's molecular armor. So what that means is when impact is induced into this, the molecules on the inside, they bind together, they become very hard, and it disperses energy extremely well. So you're gonna get that CE rated, you're gonna get that here in the shoulders, you're gonna get it in the elbows, and you're also gonna get a Viper CE Level 2 D3O back pad that comes included with this jacket. And we're gonna show you that here in just a few minutes when we get to the inside. You, are, you also are gonna have a chest armor piece on the inside. It's not CE rated, but it is gonna be removable. And from a protection standpoint, as far as visibility goes, you are gonna have 3M scotch light throughout this entire jacket. It's gonna make you very visible if a car's headlights get on you. All right, so next we're gonna talk about the adjustability that comes with this jacket. So Trey, face the back for me real quick. So here around the neck, you are gonna have this elastic cinch to be able to cinch the collar down. And a nice touch from Climb is you are gonna have a, a nice fleece lining around the entire collar. Again, it's just gonna make the jacket very comfortable to wear. You're not gonna get any chafing around the neck. So face the front for me. So up here around the neck, if I wanted to, or if Trey wanted to, he could unzip this. This neck collar is gonna snap down on itself. So that's gonna allow him to open this up and you are gonna have Velcro closure there around the neck as well. So again, if he wants to do that, it's just gonna allow this jacket to breathe better, and there you have that microfiber lining that you're gonna have throughout the entire inside of that neck. Now working our way down the sleeve here, you are gonna have bicep and forearm vent, or forearm straps here for adjustment. Now what it is, it's actually more of a G-hook, it's metal, it's very durable, and if I show right here on his other arm, I've actually got this cinched all the way down, so Trey's gonna really be able to cinch that down and get rid of that excess material, from flapping around in the wind. So if we continue down the arm again, you're gonna have the forearm straps here. Those are gonna be Velcro. And down here at the wrist, you're gonna have Velcro closure there as well. And I do wanna get a shot, because I like what they've done. On the inside here, you are gonna have a nice neoprene gaiter around the wrist. That's just gonna keep that moisture from coming up through the arm there. Now down here at the bottom, you aren't gonna have waist cinches, but down here at the bottom on each side, you are gonna have these elastic cinches on both sides. So again, Trey's gonna really be able to cinch this jacket down well. 
All right, so one of the things that we love about the Badlands jacket is because it's a shell only, but it's still waterproof, if you want to on those warmer, hot summer days, you can wear just a t-shirt under this jacket. You're still gonna get the protection that it gives, but it's gonna allow you to stay cool, and this jacket has tons of ventilation built into it. So if we look, starting up here on the top of the bicep, you're gonna have this vent here. It's gonna allow air to come through. Now that strap that we talked about before that can cinch this sleeve down, it doubles as a strap to keep the vent open. If you see, we've got it here. We've got it around this loop. That's gonna keep this vent open. That's gonna allow a lot of air to come up through this vent. And if we work our way down the arm here on the forearm, you're gonna have this vent here as well. You're gonna have that on both sides. Now, if I have Trey lift his arm up, this is one of my favorite parts of it. Huge exhaust vents right here underneath the pits. They've designed that to be in a spot where it's easy to get to even while you're riding your motorcycle. And that is gonna allow a ton of air to come through this jacket. Now, if we look at the chest, you're gonna have dual vents here, one on each side of the chest, and you're also gonna have two giant vent exhausts in the back, and we're gonna talk about those here in just a second. So again, a lot of ventilation built into this, so even on those hot days, it's gonna allow you to stay cool. Now when we look at the pockets on this jacket, you're gonna have four rainproof pockets on the front here. Now keep in mind that Climb does not guarantee that these pockets are gonna be waterproof, but you're gonna get two here on the chest, if I pull this down, you're gonna have a rubber coated zipper. Again, nice big TPU pull tabs there. And then this pocket right here, it's not gonna be rainproof, but it's gonna be, you know, if you wanna put your cell phone or something small right there, you can. Now down here, these two cargo pockets, again, rainproof. I do like the design that Climb has done with these pockets. If I open this up and we look, normally you're gonna see the zipper come right here along the edge of the pocket. Climb has put it here on the storm flap. It's just a really cool design because it's really gonna make sure that no water is gonna get inside that zipper. So you're gonna have that style of pocket on both sides here at the bottom. You are gonna have an ID pocket right here on the left forearm. Again, keep identification in there. So if you do have an accident, they're gonna know to look in there to find out who you are. And there is gonna be a very large rabbit pouch in the back and we're gonna get to that here in just a second. All right, so Trey, I'm gonna have you turn to the back for me. We're gonna talk about what goes on in the back side of this jacket. So up here at the front, again, this is that armor core material that we talked about before with that rip stop stitching. It's extremely abrasion resistant. Big reflective panel up here at the top. And I do wanna point out one nice touch is right here around the arm. This is gonna be a Gore-Tex stretch panel right here. So this is gonna allow mobility. It's gonna allow that jacket to be flexible and comfortable, but it's still gonna be waterproof. Now you're gonna see there is not a pouch for a hydration, hydration pack here on the back, but you do have one on the inside that goes underneath your back protection. That is not included, just keep that in mind. If we work our way down, these are gonna be your two giant vent zips, your exhaust ports for that ventilation. That's gonna allow all that air coming through the front. It's gonna allow it to escape out here through the back. Now, if we work our way all the way down here to the bottom, this is gonna be that giant rabbit pouch that we talked about before. It's gonna give you plenty of storage down here in the bottom. So if you're wearing base layers with this jacket, you wanna take them off, you can just put them into this pouch and carry them with you. So it's a very big pouch, a lot of versatility there. So face back to the front for me. All right, so now we're gonna open this jacket up. We're gonna look at what's going on on the inside. So right here, big storm flap. You are gonna have Velcro closure there. Right here, I do wanna point out, you are gonna have one waterproof Napoleon pocket here on the inside. So that's where you're gonna to wanna to keep your electronics if you're getting any sort of moisture. Now, if we undo this, big YKK zipper all the way down. Now, first thing you're gonna notice when he opens this up, this is gonna be your kidney belt, okay? This comes included with the jacket. That, you cinch it down, it supports the weight of the jacket to make it more comfortable on those all day long rides, and that is gonna be removable. So if we undo that, if we come up here to the top and look, this is gonna be your chest arm, you have it here on both sides. Again, it's not CE rated, but it is gonna be removable if you don't wanna have it in there, and you are gonna have a couple of mesh pockets at the top as well. And for good measure, in the back of this jacket, you are gonna have one hidden ID pocket. If you wanna keep your passport or identification in there, that is something you can do, and we're gonna show you that here in just a second. So next up, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this jacket off a tray, we're gonna put it on the table, we're gonna open it up, and we're gonna show you exactly what is going on on the inside. All right guys, so now we've got the jacket off, we're gonna open it up and we're gonna talk about what's going on on the inside here. So if we look at it, we're gonna start the bottom, we're gonna work our way up. So down here at the bottom, you are gonna have these two elastic cinches to cinch the jacket of the, bo the bottom of the jacket down. And this is gonna be your jacket to pant zipper right here. So make sure if you're interested in the pant, check out the Badlands pant on our Adventure Pant Buyer's Guide. That's gonna be your connection right there. Working our way up, again, here's gonna be your kidney belt. It is gonna be adjustable, and if you want to, it is fully removable as well. And over here on the side, this is actually a hidden passport pocket that they do on a lot of their jackets. So a nice little touch from them that's gonna go on the back side. It's gonna be hidden unless somebody actually takes the jacket off of you. Working our way up, 
right here. This is where that Viper back pad goes, all right? We've talked about it before. I've actually got it out. So if you look at it, this is your CE rated, your level two Viper back pad. That's a D3O molecular armor that comes included with this jacket. So you can see it's very large. It's gonna cover the entire backside. It is very flexible. But like we said, that D3O molecular armor, when it has impact to it, the, mo the molecules are gonna bind up. It's gonna become very dense. It's gonna disperse energy extremely well. And honestly, when it comes to protection in the back, you really aren't gonna get much better than what they're giving you with this Viper back piece. So that's gonna be your back protection. It's gonna be inserted right here. And underneath that, this is where your water bladder is gonna go. You actually have a Velcro closure up here. You're gonna put your water bladder inside there. It's gonna go underneath your Viper back piece and there is gonna be internal, internal routing so you can get your SIP tube out through the jacket without having to come up and through your collar. Now, so that's for your, your hydration bladder there. Up here at the top, this is gonna be your chest armor right here underneath this mesh. Again, it's not CE rated and it is removable, and you are gonna have four pockets. You got two on each side, they're all gonna be meshed. So again, a lot of functionality and versatility, even on the inside of this jacket as well. All right guys, so thanks for checking out the Badlands jacket from Climb. Now remember, you're getting Gore-Tex lining, and you're getting top level protection with this jacket, and hands down, one of the most durable jackets you are gonna find for any touring adventure rider out there. And remember, they have the Badlands pant that goes along with the jacket, so watch our adventure pant buyer's guide to see the detailed breakdown of those pants. Now the last thing, go to our website at RockyMountainATVMC.com where you can see the full list of details on this jacket. You can see the sizing guide so you know what size you're gonna order. And I do wanna point out that as we said before, you need your own base layers with this jacket. Climb has a ton of base layers that we carry here at Rocky Mountain, so make sure you check those out as well. We have our fit guarantee, so if you have any concerns about fit, if you get a size you're not happy with, send it back to us and we will make sure you get the right size on that first exchange free of charge. Now the last thing I need you to do is click and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave us your thoughts and comments on this jacket. We'd love to hear what you guys are having to say about it. I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails.